Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Yeast 1 Part... Is this Part 5? I think we're on Part 5. Last video we came into the mines and made it to this room, which we learned houses the most devious boss fight in all of video games. Not really, but it, it's up there, man. It, it's pretty high tier on the power end to the least boss fights I've had to endure. Gosh, it's annoying. Um, well, especially just on Nightmare, but, I mean, on normal, on a lower difficulty, you can just kind of power through by grinding up to level 10 and getting the Silver Sword, but, uh, you know, it's pretty much, it's it's a requirement for this, because, you know, he doesn't take any damage, as we showed last time we were level 9 with the Silver Sword, but I took a little time, grinded up to level 10, took about, took a decent bit of time, um, I just grinded the knights that are that run around this way. I use the timer ring because it makes them slow boys And then it's easier to uh, do them like that granted They take many more hits than normal because you know, you're only level 9 and even one level gives you a huge power spike um, in this game, but Then I practiced the boss for a little bit uh, technically I was recording it and I did defeat said boss about um, 10 minutes ago Took about 34 minutes of practice fights before I finally got my first victory, and that's as someone who's very experienced, I mean, I've, or fairly experienced with the fight. You know, this is my third time beating him. Uh, once in the normal playthrough, once when I played this game on Nightmare, and then just previously. We're gonna try it again. A um, few little things to note before we start. Um, so there is the movement system. We've been on 360, which is what we're gonna do the boss fight on. But there is also 8 directional, which is actually better for fighting like random mobs for the most part because you kind of like latch on when you attack people almost. It makes it easier to stun lock. And I think part of the reason why I was having so much difficulty stun locking enemies in earlier videos is that I wasn't using 8 directional. But 360 does feel better for a lot of the boss fights, mainly because sometimes when you're running through here with 8 directional, you can get kind of. I don't know if I can actually show it all. But you can kind of get like a little like stuck on the walls easier. Um, it's 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 really only ever happens kind of somewhat rarely, but when it does happen, it can cause you to lose the fight instantly because you end up taking so much damage. But I think that's it. Um, your rings don't work in the boss fights, so it doesn't really matter what you have equipped. The only thing is you just need to have all the silver equipment. And let's just jump in and see if I can beat this dude again. Most likely, I will not be able to beat it while talky talking. Um, because it's it's a very difficult fight with lots of stuff going on. I mean, like last video, it took me forever just to get one hit in while talking. But for the most part, I prefer a I think it's a clockwise strategy. I mean, you kind of have to switch it up. But basically, you want to go to the far corner that's farthest away, get the bats to get close to you. Because after you get a hit in, or they just they disperse really widely out. And what you want to do is you want to buy as much time as possible before they clump up. Um, and also, a lot of the fight is just RNG, like hoping that he spawns. Because sometimes you'll go like literally a minute without him uh, getting the opportunity to attack. Um, like it, A lot of the stuff is like, it's hard to put into words. It's just things you pick up after doing the fight for so long. You know, especially like an intense... I mean, great, it was only 30 minutes. It was a little bit faster than I thought it was going to take. I was expecting it to take like an hour before we got our first uh, win. I think that's about how long it took me the first two times to play this game. Um, but you, you kind of want to be slow because you want the bats, to, once they're clumped, to stay close to you. Just because otherwise if you're too fast and you go to like cut, up, cut across, sometimes you can like get, end up running right into them. For the most part, I like to stay in the top corners and then go down um, to dodge when they're like dispersed like this. So you get there, you wait, and sometimes you get lucky and they'll clump back up really quickly because that's the hardest part. The only time you can really take massive damage is when they're spread out like that because sometimes just because of the way they're spread out and since there's no invincibility frames in this game, um, you, you can just get hit really quickly, really fast. Like, we're getting really good luck here. Like, we're actually doing good. Anytime you have more HP than him, you're in a fantastic spot, basically. Granted, the, the nature of what makes this fight hard, though, is that if one fuck-up can basically cause you to take massive damage and lose instantly. 
like if we mess up one of our uh, our run throughs and end up running through the bats or we get in a situation where we trap ourselves but we're doing really well um considering this is I mean it's not the first attempt but I mean it's only been like I said about 10 to 15 minutes since I actually got the one the one time and then I didn't do anything after that because I just basically had some extra time before I started recording and figured out at least while I was practicing I was going to make sure I was recording um, because I wanted to at least have a recording me beating the boss fight even though I didn't think it would have commentary okay I, I fucked up there I was being too cautious and like I was waiting for him to materialize, but you really you can't wait for him. You have to start going before he even materializes. And that one little stray bat there just fucking clipped us. Uh, okay. We need four more hits, I think. Is it three or four at this point? I can't remember. I think he takes 18 hits total. Like 17 or 18 hits is I think how many you need at max level with the silver sword. Okay, so let's... Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting him to do that. Oh, this is kind of bad. Okay. Uh, okay. See, that's one of those situations where we would have probably gotten stuck with eight directional movement. Because you saw we kind of, like, clipped into the doorway there. Holy shit, we're one hit. We're actually gonna... Well, I won't say actually, we're going... What?! Oh my god, we beat him for the first try while talking. Um, well. I mean, it wasn't really the first try because, I mean, I did establish there was, you know, 34 minutes of practice prior to this, and I've done this fight before on Nightmare. Not that long ago, maybe six to eight months. Um, so yeah, all these saves I made were uh, pointless because we can just keep using our main number five save file. Can I? Yeah, so I last played it in July. Um, don't don't pay attention to, to, to the spoilers there. Really, it was just the spoilers of the, the area, but, you know. The final area in the game is called Dark Power, which... I, I don't think that's too big of a spoiler, but, you know. Give me our Book of Yeast. Also, I had to turn the heat on for, like, right before I started this video, because it was, like, really cold. And really, it's it's not... What, what always ends up tricking me is that my room is much hot, hotter than the rest of my apartment, Simply just due to like ventilation and also my computer, which you know just puts off a lot of heat, especially when it's running at a, uh, you know, high high usage or whatever. And now my room is like really stuffy. I think I'm not gonna get up and go turn the heat off, but I will turn my fan on. Okay, so I had to had to roll back in my chair to get there. I think that's the one of the benefits to a small room is that you can you know reach basically everything just by rolling a chair. But what is this? It seems as if some kind of statue had been placed here at one time. Hmm, interesting. It all beat on the door, but it sounded like solid rock on the other side. Um, we got a we got a key made from pale mineral. And I guess there's nothing we can do yet. Okay, we've got our book. Open the book. He was unable to read it. I, I guess we're done. Um. Okay, I don't have a wing, do I? Yeah, I used it and I never bought another one. Well, I guess we will. We'll actually just have the timer ring so we can run past everyone. Since I mean, I guess that's what we're supposed to do. And since we're level 10 now, these enemies aren't scary anymore. Because they literally take twice the amount of damage and do don't do half as much as they were doing. Actually, they probably do less than half of what they were doing. Okay, no, no, these guys definitely these guys do no damage. Night boys still do a little bit of damage, but honestly, these little uh, bug men are probably easier to grind than the uh, the knights. But the thing you get with the knights is that you're right next to the boss room, and so when you need to heal, you can just go in there and heal. Because normally, when you're in these areas, since enemies can kind of spawn, like, right off... As long as you're not looking at uh, the screen, they can spawn there. How in the fuck do I get out of here? I really don't remember. Um, we'll probably... Are we going to show this? If it takes sig too much longer, we can at least get to this floor. I think we'll be fine. 
Because I think we know it's just right up this way is the exit. Because now we're back on the first floor and these enemies are complete jokes now. They cannot even begin to uh, defeat us. We can probably just equip our strength ring. Since, uh, just to kill them faster. Because there's no real, uh... So it, basically at this point in the game, there's no reason to ever fight enemies ever again. Um, so once you've hit max level. Because, I mean, you still can gain gold, but you can't do anything with gold. From what I believe, I don't think there's anything else we can really buy with it. Um... I'm trying to think. I will go buy a wing. Oh, do we even really need a wing? Um... Nah, let's just go to the... I don't know what we're supposed to do now. I think we gotta talk to the old lady in the village. Now that we have the book. Because the reason we went to the mine was because... What's-her-name had a met told us to from the grave, basically, through that message. After she was murdered. And we do have the Darm key now, which I think that's basically, I know that's where we're supposed to go next, but I don't know the stuff we have to do before we can do that. Hello? In this village, the only thing of real value is the Silver Bell. That's safe in there. Uh, we returned those, didn't we? I don't remember if I did that on screen or not. I think I did? Were you going to give them to the mayor? I don't know. I believe I did, but what do I know? Hello, read my book, please. Okay. Ask Jebba to read. Um, I don't know if it's been established yet, but uh, she can read the Books of East for some reason. I don't actually remember why, but... In order to grant her dying wish, you must continue onward. You must find the books. At any rate, the Books of East. I'm a bit rusty, but my sorrow I'm gone. I'm the only one left who can read the ancient script. Read Hadal. So this is the book you found in the shrine. Uh, long ago, Claria was created in Yeast and displayed in the Temple of Solomon as a monument to prosperity. But suddenly, disaster struck. I'm going to take a sip of some water. In the shadow of that prosperity, evil had grown and brought the seeds of suffering. It struck with an all-consuming fury, and in the wake of the demon hordes, even the fair land of, uh, Kel- Kelt- Kelt- Selketa? Selketa? Who knows? Uh, became as ash. Um, okay, so the twin trees, twin moons, would never watch over this land. Okay, Yeast was healed by the two goddesses and the six priests. The goddesses embody uh, the spirit of our land and inspire our lives. One represents order and the other freedom. If we were ever to lose them, all our struggles and achievements would come to naught. We would never again know peace. We must not lose the godless goddesses, regardless of the cost, even unto eternity shadow. Well, that's fucking ominous. So this was in the abandoned mine, was it? How peculiar. I speak now of the disaster of Yeast. He rose suddenly and attacked our cities. He called for molten stone from the bowels of the world to burn our fields and trap us in a sea of fire. It was terrible and absolute. One by one, our proud nations were blown out like candles and darkness and chaos stole over our world. Surely the Claria was the cause. Was it not the harbinger of darkness? Thus we sealed it within the darkness in the hope that the ground may shine it, that in the ground so that hope they shine anew. They didn't seal it in the hope so the ground would shine anew. Um, forget it not and never lay hands upon it again. Okay. Um, they illuminate the truth behind the mysterious Stormwall. Stormwall. The monsters, the theft. All of our items made of silver. A great instability in the flow of destiny. You're the only one with the ability to come for the truth behind it all. Yes, because we're the chosen one or whatever nonsense so I think we have to go talk to the thieves people now I guess like you know this game is old so there's not very much direction so I think do these guys like literally not do damage anymore okay no they still do one damage a hit we just didn't actually take any damage back there because I mean I can't think of anything else we can spend our money on um, equipment wise they, there's only like one more tier of equipment, which is what we get in the, you know, we, we don't, we don't buy that stuff is what I'll say. Um, how do I get out of here? There we go. He came from outside the storm wall. Um, a dogie came also from outside. He's a man of incredible strength and resolve, but he's in the tower somewhere. Nobody knows if he's even still alive. Um, that's the Tova family's lost book of yeast. 
Guess that would make you the swordsman. Yam Sarah kept yammer. I almost called her Yamma. Kept Sarah and Sarah eating about. Man, I can't talk today. I mean, you know, that's pretty much par for the course, but uh, it feels a little bit worse today than normal. Oh, Sara was his cousin. Okay. Um, the chest is empty, but but you see, but you see, I wanted the stuff in the chest. Events of light seem to have taken really a toll on the boss. Totally understandable, though, all things considered. So, I mean, we we have the Darm Key, which is the key to the tower, I believe. Okay, how the hell do we get into the tower? Because that's the next place you need to go. But... Was I supposed to do something with those statues? Oh, fuck. Don't, don't tell me I have to go all the way back into the mines now. Don't tell me I left for no reason. Technically, we do have our saves still back there. What's up? Are you supposed to use the crystal on these? Let's go back. Because, I mean, I feel like there's something we're supposed to do here. There's not a hidden passage. We've got our crystal. Uh, beat on the door. Huh. We got our key. We've used all our keys at this point. We don't really have anything else to do. I don't know what we're supposed to do now. Um, we can go try and go back to where Sara was and talk to that dude that gave us the instructions last time. It's the only other thing I can think of. Because we already talked to Jebba. And she didn't really tell us anything. Are we missing books of yeast? I don't think so. Oh, may maybe now. Jebba's been teaching me many things since my arrival here in Zafik. Mixing herbs, fortune telling, the culture, the history of Asteria too. Every day makes me feel complete. All my fears and reservations of my long imprisonment have vanished into thin air. Well, almost all. The truth still petrifies me. Whenever I get particularly scared though, I just think about when you took my hand and led me to safety. You taught me courage at all, and the power of endless safe scummy. Thanks to you, I've been able to look ahead. Without ever feeling, I must look back also. Whatever. Um, hello? Tell me what to do! This is the same thing! <laughs> Go away! Okay. There are six books of yeast, the remaining three are hidden within Darm Tower. The Devil's Tower, they call it. Speak with my son, Goban. Okay. So we, we... I had the right idea, we decided we had to actually talk to each other first. I guess I forgot to actually talk to her. I think I just asked her to read. But... Or maybe we did talk to her, and then you just had to, like, leave and enter until Fina got there? What do I know, man? Um... Let's go talk to Godan. Is that was her son? Can't even remember. Just... Hello, please let me in the tower. My mother told me everything in order to find- How the hell did she tell you so fast? We literally ran over here as fast as we could. Since the day the Stormwall first showed up, the tower has been teeming with demonic sentries. A band of thieves tried to get things under control in there, but suffered heavy casualties. They were too strong, too many, we had no choice but to fall back. My right-hand man, Dogie, has also gone missing. He's in there, but I can't even say if he's still alive. Darm Tower is an unbelievably dangerous place if you haven't gotten that already. It's most definitely not for the faint of heart. If you've truly mastered the silver equipment, the sword especially, then you might just stand a chance. Yeah, you need the sword at this point, or else he won't let you in. But you also need the sword to beat the boss before this, so it's kind of like a weird requirement. Because if you try and fight fucking Batman without the silver sword, even on like lower, like on normal, he takes like one damage still. It's like not feasible really to beat that fight without uh, the silver sword. Maybe you play on, like, easy, and you're and you're level 10? I don't know. But. It's also completely soundproof, so you scream for dear life, it ain't gonna wake us from our naps. I'd say at most you should be limited to one day in there. Make sure you're back here tomorrow morning, with or without the books of ease. I'll reopen the door to let you out when the sun rises. 
Alright, get going. And try not to get yourself killed in there. So there isn't actually like a, a real time limit. Um, but we're in Darm Tower. And as you could tell from the minor spoilers I just had earlier when I showed my old save, um, Darm Tower is the final dungeon. But it's a long and it's very long. Basically the rest of the game is going to be spent in Darm Tower. We're at effectively the halfway point. This is where the real game begins, is when you get to Darm Tower. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, I am, and I'm not. Okay, so these guys are weak. That's good. And so, here's one of the things about where you can uh, heal up quickly. So the Darm Tower isn't that annoying, mainly because there are frequent spots where you can heal, and if you have the heal ring equipped, you saw how fast we healed there. That'll stack on top, so it's very like it's very non-tedious for the most part when it comes to uh, like places like the mines and stuff are actually overall more annoying than uh, Darm Tower, despite it being the, the the final dungeon area. Granted, there are a lot of like really annoying things, like ancient design choices. Like I think some stupid shit happens here with these statues. If you try and go past them. I can't remember. There's, uh, I don't remember. I think, I'm going to equip Sarah's crystal. There's something about a crystal that's important eventually with something. I don't know. There, a lot of stuff I don't fully remember, but, um, yeah, please, sir, quit hitting me. For a lot of times, we're just going to be kind of running around. We got reflex. Is that even, that's not even the good armor. What? Why does this exist? Why did you just give me reflex and you have to have the silver equipment to get in here? Or maybe you just need the silver sword, but still. How are you gonna- I mean, I guess you you could miss the silver armor, but you know, you're not gonna beat Bat Boy without the silver armor. It just- it ain't happening. But yeah, see? Look at that monster heal! So it's really not that bad. I remember it being taken longer, but it's quite quick. So boss wise, I'm trying to remember, I know of at least three bosses that are left, but I think there's actually four and I'm just forgetting one. Which if I'm forgetting a boss, that's probably good because then that means he's probably not that hard. Um, I guess we'll go with this left door. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how this works. I think you want to go through the left one? Another one of the problems with this, yeah, actually, I think if you go through there, it teleports you somewhere. So let's try the right one. Because you need an item. Um, for those of you who remember Yeast Origin and the part with the uh, with the statues in the very beginning of the game that teleport you, if you don't have the right item equipped, that's a reference to this, that, this section. Where I think, maybe it's that chest over there has it. Really, we could probably equip the power and the timer ring, since, like I said, there's no reason to fight people anymore. Large shield. How about largely useless shield, because, you know, it's just, it's just worse. I mean, I guess it's good to fill out your fucking inventory. Yay. Is that, is that all this area was? What? Oh, no one can stop us. We are unbeatable. Okay, I guess there is nothing here. Unless... Unless, ow, okay, never mind. That, that was their HP that went down. I saw that huge like chunk go down there, and I thought that was our HP, and then I got kind of scared. Um, no, it's, we 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 had the right idea. In items, we just don't want anything equipped. We'll probably never use our healing potion. In all honesty, maybe you do have to get teleported to do the thing. I don't know. I can't remember where it teleports you to. I can't remember if it teleports you to a different area. Or if it teleports you just like at the beginning, and we just like miss the item we need running past everything. Because we'll find out in a second. When our doll came to, he found himself locked in a prison cell. He checked his belongings and found that some were missing! Wait, what? Oh my god, my silver equipment! Oh, uh, so that's why they give you the shit. I... D I... D you know, I remember there being two tiers of equipment in Darm Tower, and that's what it is, is they fucking yoink your silver shit. 
Ah, so you're finally awake. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Luta Gimma. I'm a poet from Zapeak Village. I think you can actually meet him prior to this. Like, he can be found in the plains sometimes, um, and you can rescue him. I never found him in my adventures through the plains, and I didn't really remember exactly uh, where to find him. I think you can actually only find him after you talk to his wife, and we didn't even talk to the wife until right before we did the mines. So we didn't really uh, have the best chance to find him. So I think you can like rescue him like two or three times prior to this. Or maybe that's a different character. I don't know. But how did I get in here? Well, you might not believe this, but it actually seems I sleepwalked here. Yeah, that's the same character. Because he'd like sleepwalk into, off into the plains, then you have to save him from monsters, and you don't get anything out of it, which is why I didn't really care to do it, but also I kind of forgot about it. Um, when I woke up, I found myself surrounded by monsters and scrambled to get away from them. But it was no use. They caught me. Only instead of killing me, they threw me in here. That's weird. Wait, so you came in here by choice? I'm flabbergasted. Why in the world would you do that? You certainly don't look out of your mind. Actually, you look sure of yourself. Completely. Oh, believe me, I'm not sure of myself. Admittedly, it takes a brave man to walk through that tower door of his own card. I salute you, sir. Oh yeah, ran into someone else in here too. Or rather, I saw him briefly as I fled for dear life. It was in a passage with a row of statues, and I saw an old man holding something, but then he disappeared. A row of statues. Okay. So that's the, uh, how the hell do I get out of here? Yeah, yeah, I think there's a hidden passage back at that, uh, thing. Okay, I don't know how to get out of here. Is there a secret passage? Uh, sir, please. H have have we lost the game? There's no window or drain. The room is quite stuffy. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Um, please, ah, motherfucker. Howdy, stranger. Don't worry, I come in peace. Doggy's the name, and Wall Crusher's my game. Pleased to meet you. Let's save the chit chat for later, though. We gotta get the hell out of here. Watch your step, man. Traps all over the place. One false move, and you'll wind up back in here. Three stories up, there's a hallway with a line of statues and an old man named Rabba hiding in there. He's been there a long time and knows this tower like the back of his hand. You should talk to him. Did this fucker just crushed the goddamn wall and give me a heart attack. Alright, come on everybody, time to go. Let's go make like dust and blow in the wind. Okay. But if you do go see Rabbit, would you do take this idol to him? You must have dropped it at some point. Ah, okay, so I think even if you we had found the dude, we would we would have still have had to get teleported. Because I think you need to give this idol to him. We grants the mayor Oh, we're like invisible. Or something. We ghost. Oh man, they can't see us. We can't be seen. We're invisible. I don't remember this item at all. I mean, we can still take damage, as you can tell, but it's pretty good. Um, turbo heals. Man, I wish we had had this for fucking yeast origin. I remember all those times where I had to. Granted, you had to heal a lot less often in that game, but I do have memories of uh, standing there for significant periods of time waiting for the spirit cave to heal us. Which is basically a theme in all of these games, I think, have some sort of passive healing item. Ah! 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 Stop. 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 Okay, so you actually can't go in unless you have the mask. Hello! That's my idol! I see, so Dogi asked you to bring it, much obliged. My name is Rabba, I'm a seeker of ancient knowledge, a scholar by trade if you will. I came here six months ago to study the ancient ruins of Asteria. While I was investigating this tower, monsters suddenly came from every which way. So I've been hiding out in here and hoping they wouldn't find me. This idol is my saving grace, I mean I like much, but it's full of power. When held close to my body, it can make you completely vanish from sight. It's the reason I've been able to survive, so why the hell are you in here? 
Well, young man, what brings you to this dreadful place? Your equipment suggests you came here knowing of its danger, so I assume you have a reason. Well, we had better equipment, but then it got fucking yoinked from us. Um, we're looking for the books of yeast. That was going to be my first guess, actually. The name yeast appears quite frequently in ancient texts, even on the mainland. They say it's a land adept in powers of magic and an abundance of life, silver like metal. This time went on, the name simply vanished from history. No one mentioned it anymore. Nowadays, no one even knows where to find it on. What knows where on the map to find it? It's a name we scholars always figured belonged to some long lost utopian land of legend. But I always knew Yeast was somewhere in this area. I had a hunch anyway. And it would seem I was correct. I forgot to figure it out right then, and then something akin to the storm wall appeared on the day Yeast was lost. Storms encircled the island, and when they were gone, so was Yeast. All that remained here was this tower. Serious minstrels tell of swarms of monsters killing off half the land's people in a single night. Nobody could get away either on account of the storms. Meanwhile, the monsters built its armed tower. Then right after the tower was completed, the monsters all just disappeared. The crisis had passed. Several hundred years passed, and in that time the whole mess was forgotten. Well, mostly anyway. But the danger was still there. It was dormant, but it was there. You sense it too, don't you? As we speak, something in this tower is setting something evil in motion. There are traps everywhere around here. Without a doubt, someone or something is puppeteering it all. To what end, though, I have no idea. But can't we just let it happen? Well, we can't just let it happen, can we? Of course, that's why you're here, though. So you intend to keep climbing this tower, do you? In that case, I think you should have this. Yeah, there it is. The blue necklace. The necklace of blue. Uh, as long as you're wearing the blue necklace, they will be totally ineffective. So, we'll just wear this until the day we die. No, uh, I... I want to go to equipment. I want to heal up at a rate of which the world has never been seen before. Please let me out. Go oh, get dodged. You know what? Oh god, please stop. Cease, desist. Did he like hit us as we were transitioning? That's just rude. So let's see, we're at 32 minutes. Man, I feel like we've done a lot in this video. We we fought the most evil boss ever and made him like a complete joke. And so it feels like I've been lying this whole time about how hard he is, but, um... Because the thing that's so, like, weird about that fight is that it doesn't look hard. You know, if you just watch a video of someone beating it, it's like, oh, you just fucking dodged the bats, lol, how is it difficult? But, you know, if you play it, it's, it's much more difficult than it looks. One thing we should do, I think we'll actually equip the timer ring. Okay, well, the timer ring is not helping! In fact, it is making things much worse. Okay, maybe much worse is a bit of an exaggeration, but, uh... All oh, the turbo heals! Lord of healing! It's so nice to just watch your health regen like that. But... Actually, we'll probably just have the shield ring. Or power, I don't know, shield and power are kind of like... I mean, they serve the same purpose. I don't really know which one's better, per se. Because, I mean, they both let you kind of get through monsters easier. For the most part, shield is probably overall better. Haha! -ha! You have been defeated, you dumb statues. Also, I wonder how long till we get to the next boss. I mean, the Dark Tower goes somewhat quickly. There's parts that are more difficult than others. It's just, it's a lot of just knowing what to do. Very similar to the rest of the game. Like, as long as you just know what you're supposed to do, things go by a lot quicker. And things do get a little bit harder as you get to the higher areas and enemies don't tickle us anymore. Hello, Mr. Dogie. So yeah, it's me, Dogie, saving your hide yet again. Seems you got a knack for getting into trouble, but at least you're doing the stuff I- doing stuff, I guess. So I gotta ask, uh, what the hell are you doing in this tower to begin with? A doll explained his reasons for infiltrating the tower. Okay, so you came here to get your jollies and wound up with more than you bargained for. I gotcha. Good to hear Godan's doing well, though. At least he and the others are probably real worried about me. Have you met Raba? He's an old weirdo. Well, we had to have met him to get here. Um, he's an old weirdo, but I won my life. Uh, was pinned down by a monster out of options, and he suddenly unidled himself and saved my hide. I'm helping him scout out the tower to return the favor. Might as well, you know. I mean, I'm here, and I hate to be leaving a place without tearing it up first. If this man collapses the tower on us, I'm going to be quite mad. There's a rod somewhere around here that's designed just like that crystal you got. From what I hear, you need it to get to the top floor. Heard about it from the boss's mom. And when she tells you something, you don't question it. So we need a rod. 
you know, I'll just let the jokes make themselves. Sir, sir, please stop, cease, desist. How the hell do I? There, there's too many. They can't be stopped. They can't be tamed. I get pushed. Oh, give me the silver sword. Thank you. Oh God. Ah, uh, uh, stop. Cease, desist. Let me out. No, don't kill me, please. I don't want to die. I'd have to redo like 30 seconds of content because the limited saves are great. And it's the only thing that makes this game even close to fucking possible in the highest difficulty. Otherwise, I would probably literally kill myself trying to do this. <clears throat> if you had like actual save points or some shit, or if you could only save at the start of a dungeon. Ah, oh, that would be awful. So wait, I think this is the way up. I think we're, it's a little early for typically, you know, typically these videos are a little bit longer, these once a week, but we made a lot of good progress and it seems like we're on route to end this series faster than I thought because Darm Tower is going by pretty quickly. Um, so we probably have, so this is part five. We're definitely going to, not going to be able to do more than one boss fight. Next video, we'll probably fight the next boss, and then... So we'll probably make... We might even finish up at 10 episodes. I was thinking it was probably going to be like close to like 11, 12-ish. But we might actually finish around 9 or 10 parts, which is uh, pretty cool. But, you know, we'll see how that comes when we get to it. Two of the bosses left in the game are still very, very annoying. Um, the final boss is definitely on Bat Batman's here. He's, um, the only thing that makes him not quite as bad is that the fights are short. They last about 20 to 30 seconds, a successful run. But, you know, that also reveals how fast he kills you, which is, which is very fast. But, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm XGZ87. Stay tuned for the next part, and bye, guys.